Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and as well rising a weekly tarot reading October 21st to October 27th, a 2019. And bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can jump right into it. Oops. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of uh, Sagittarius week, this is going to be the uh, page of uh, wands, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that Sagittarius needs to overcome throughout the week here, we do have uh, the hangman, followed by the third one which represents the positive aspect of the week for Sagittarius here, that is going to be the four of uh, wands, <coughs> and then the last one which stands for the uh, guidance that Saru is offering to Sagittarius, we do have the Four of Cups. All right, so uh, the Page of Wands, which is the general topic for you guys, is going to be catalyzed here by the Seven of Pentacles. We do have in an active neutrals into this uh, particular position. And so the topic revolves around this person, which is the Page of Wands. In general, that is a very energetic and, and, and enterprising kind of type of person who likes to um, jump into, uh, I would say, jump into activity or rather it's quite scampered. Now, the problem with this one is that it's, it's very aggressive when it comes to tackling with someone else. What I mean it is that could be this... Um, this employee, which hates being, um, uh, which hates, which hates to tackle tasks that have been given to him by the supervisor. So it's it's someone who likes to kind of like dictates their own rules, and in this particular uh, position here, the page with the seven of pentacles, I kind of points to a bit of a reckless type of person or it's kind of like it's someone who does whatever they want without minding way too much how how much they are wasting doing uh, going into those type of endeavors and should you have children that very well could be one of your one of your children right that it is doing things that are simply not efficient you know either in school or in the university or in their work as well or it could be just someone around you which is you know could be your uh, boyfriend or a girlfriend or a co-worker that does things in very inefficient uh, <clears throat> inefficient manner another reason why they're doing that it is because they are strongly believe that they are how, how can I say it, capable enough and strong enough, if you will, on their own accord and they will rather never ask for help. Or when they ask for help or assistance, I would say it is already, always, it is already quite too late 
for the assistant to have a, a major impact and reverse you know the course of events of uh, <clears throat> of their situation so how one can tackle with such person it is um it's it's baffling not baffling but it is the question and uh, while they look quite unaffected outside they are very very thin and fragile from within so the way you tackle with such person it is by planting presumptions or pr planting an, an assumptions kind of like throwing him um on an opinion or a statement and just let it be that way i mean even if it doesn't look like they are gonna think about it right now it kind of lingers within them and they are gonna give it a second thought sooner or later so the challenge here that we are going to talk about is going to be the hangman and it is accompanied by the ten of swords <clears throat> and it's typical aggravation it is what we do have at our hands uh, the formation it is a passive neutrals and while <clears throat> while you want to kind of bat this person on their head and just you know kind of put them into their correct path with the correct measures you alone are going to understand that that can't happen straight away it's no different than the than the child who decided to smoke and no matter how much you are gonna uh, ground that child it's always gonna find a way to smoke right just just saying so <clears throat> that being said it will be best here to like I said planting a presumptions or assumptions of how the things are gonna end based on their uh, on their activity and just to wait it out going for a, a drastic measures it's rather it's very very likely to just make things even worse right a drastic measures like said you know grounding grounding you well grounding your child putting an ultimatums okay or or making some decisions that both of you are going to suffer and so on and so forth now in the hangman you need to know that the challenge itself uh, it's simultaneously a breakthrough and the challenge is exactly to wait it out to plant your presumption in their head and wait the thing to to develop on its own accord and it should develop on its own accord and that person alone are going to understand that they are doing the wrong thing but the problem here like said with the first card is that they need to understand that they are doing the right the, the wrong thing and they should go to do the right thing instead of uh, you enforcing you know your opinion upon them of that they are doing the wrong thing right now and they should do something different <clears throat> that way uh, if you do enforce your opinion uh, the relationship in between you and them it could get a little bit colder just so you know and even with the ten of swords here some breakups are not excluded as well as a uh, as a repercussions but even if you cannot sustain yourself um you cannot sustain your calmness and you kind of like provoke a certain breakup because it's just a catalyst card and it's neutral to the hangman usually those breakups are to be uh, recuperated right meaning that it's not gonna last for long and probably there will be a reconciliation after that it's just there is no point here Sagittarius to experience a bad emotions and feelings and going through a, 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 a plightful events just because you couldn't keep your how can I say it? Uh, you couldn't keep your your anger in check, anger or a a, a sense of self righteousness and so on and so forth. So the next card here is going to be the positive aspect of the week for you. We do have the four of wands and it is accompanied by the two of swords. So that is uh, that refers to a mindset you um, well these two cards first of all they are active friends and what they say it is that the whole situation which you and this page of wands is going into a direction where you're gonna feel satisfied but instead of once again a forcing and or bruising your opinion or decision making upon them the two of swords here to the four of wands is pointing that through waiting and an obvious circumstances and the obvious and the right decision is going to become obvious all right <clears throat> i'm sorry guys i still have that cold it's now 
three weeks now that I have that cold. I don't know what is going on with me. So you are striving with them to a uh, finalizing in a very, very important cycle in life. And should that be your child at the end of this cycle, you are, be you are going to become even a, a better friend than before. You know, even though it's your children, it it's your child, it is best to be a friend with your child or your child to take you as a friend of theirs and to share you things that they would normally want to share with you. But important thing here is not to go into, <clears throat> the important thing here is that it is unlikely that there will be dramas and, and dilemmas into all that and there will be any, how can I say it, a, a, a noxious behavior from the page of wands that is going to cause a, a severe, uh, a severe a severe negative impact upon your life and upon your situation taking that is just a, a person who is a bit lost and doesn't know what to do and is trying to get from life the maximum they can okay and they are experimenting trying one thing they see if it, they are gonna like it or not trying another thing when they when they see if uh, they're gonna like it or not <clears throat> So do not get, um, how can I place it? Do not get, um, yeah, the word is aggravated in regards to their behavior. We all have been there. Sometimes we are all into that, uh, into that place, especially when we are embarking a new life um, in, or a new chapter into our life. The page usually is very cheerful and it's it's kind of like playful as well and it's open for everything new and like i said if that is your child you know who knows what's new is going to be presented to him in school on the street from their friends that could be uh, your employee who knows you know what new is going to be presented to your employee by a new customer customer you know by someone else's employee and so on and so forth or it could be just an idea there that they are going to have and the whole thing is is that you need to guide them very gently with only presumptions here and at the end of the day they alone are going to understand once again that what they are doing is not right it's not real uh, it doesn't breed any reliability and it only goes it only serves them a, a serious disfavor here so finally, at the end, uh, we do have the uh, guidance that Tarot is offering. That is going to be the Four of Cups, <clears throat> which is accompanied here by the Two of Cups. And these two cards are uh, speaking for, uh, it's the word is cooperation, but not exactly. It's more like a, a guiding this page toward their true direction in life and how you can do so by um, showing an, an emotional attachment to them simply show to your child that you love them simply you sh show to the uh, your employee that you count on them you know show to the person of interest that you are devoted and so on and so forth because with these uh, with these two cards as an active supporters here <clears throat> it looks like that um this page does not see any hints of that you are going to change your standpoint in regards to them, right? So if they are grounded, they're going to be grounded or kind of like um, if uh, your interest sits on one place, that person of interest of yours is not seeing that, that interest is going to change and etc etc so my point here is that you need to make uh, take it as there, there there is a gap in between you two all right and you gotta take you gotta make your path first or you gotta traverse your path first so the page see that you do make some efforts to do so and then the page is going to traverse their part after seeing that you are traversing yours it's all about making contact it's all about cooperation it's all about you know a, a gentle and um, milder tackling you know with their wild nature because the page does have a wilder uh, a, a, a wider a wilder nature now if that's your friend <clears throat> usually these people like to be the center of the company okay and they show a, uh, a serious detachment with everybody around. It's like they don't care who likes them or not, but they do. And in this particular case, these two cards are pointing that you need to show them that you do care for them. 
<clears throat> you do care how they feel, you do care how they um, how they stand, you do care about their interests. If you do care, of course, if you do want to improve the relationship in between you two, and if you do want to see them, you know, going in the right way that they have to go, because right now, like I said at the start, they're doing reckless and stupid things. So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly tarot reading, October 21st to October 27, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.